so we have this story that Wes linked, uh, which is like it's. I don't think we'll spend very long on this because it's kind of like a the doy. Puberty blockers may not be reversible and could raise children's risk of fertility problems and even cancer, Mayo Clinic study suggests. Really? Whoa! <laughs> really? I thought this was common knowledge. We've known this for years. I thought this was common knowledge, but did we just once again predict the news three years before it happened, like we did with COVID. We didn't predict COVID, but we predicted almost everything about it three years before it happened, like um, three years before, before it was later revealed, like the lab leak theory and the... We predicted all that stuff like years before it happened. Yeah, as Duchess says, puberty blockers in larger doses are the chemical castration given to sex offenders. Same chemicals. I'm not sure in all cases, but in, in a lot of cases, yeah, it's literally the same thing. Um, experts found mild to severe sex gland atrophy in minors taking blockers. This is well known. How has it taken this long for it to be stated? I guess because it's Mayo Clinic, which is probably one of the big ones. Genspect campaigners warn of irreversible harm to the fertility of patients. Now, you might think, oh, it's just, it's just a horrible side effect of a, of a stupid trend. What if the infertility was the point? Again, I don't think I have to say that. Most of you re recognize that, well, okay, that could be a form of like fertility genocide. It could be somewhat intentional. And I think it might be. I'm not sure if it is, but I think, it, I think it's very possible. Often, as, as Jordan Peterson once said, if you want to understand why something happened, look at what the effect was and work backwards from that. The effect of this is that the autistic community has been sliced in half, with half of them becoming useless leftists held into their leftism by the fact they chopped their nuts off, and who will never breed, chemically or personally, um, and maybe even more than half, but it just it's a direct attack on the exact group of people, autists, who would usually be able to unpick the bullshit of the psychos who are currently running the show. Yeah, it's a, that, that's a good point, Field. But even then, I don't know. I, I thought this was I thought this was common knowledge. But though I, I have seen things about like doctors lying to patients about that it'll be reversible. No, it's not reversible. It never was. Mayo Clinic experts say puberty blockers can lead to withering testicles, fertility problems, and even cancer among the trans kids who take them. Trans kids is an invalid term. It's like saying black whites. Um, and there's another study recently, actually, that's uh, well, it's not it's not quite it's, you know, logically inconsistent, but it's it's they do not exist. Um, they are only made, um, and as an abomination. Um, it's like uh, it's like um, it's like it's like calling it a successful lobotomy. Yet yeah, you did it, <laughs> but that doesn't mean it was a good idea. That's actually that's actually not a bad uh, not a bad. Um, not a bad analogy, I don't think at all. Uh, Britwood says that's due to doctors using Google and not doing the proper research into it. I hope that's not true, but it very well might be. Yeah, a trans kid is like a vegan cat, exactly. You know, you know who's made the choice. The findings cast doubt on the reversibility of PBT blockers, a key claim of the trans activists who promote the drugs. Um, saying they only pause pu puberty and buy time for trans kids to make decisions about their gender. Nah, I don't, I don't buy it. Even if that was true, you don't f*** with something that basic. Um, and there was that other study we saw. I, I think I have it open, but I don't... Uh, I, I could probably find it. Um, another study which showed that... Um, and again, this is, this is something we, we pretty much knew. We were less certain about this one than, than, than this one. But the study that shows that, um, yeah, kids grow out of it. Almost all of the kids who feel transgender or gender confused as teenagers grow out of it by like 20, 25. Something that Wes has, has, has known for ages, something that most of us have known or, or at least strongly suspected. Welcome, Wes. So uh, I, did, I did make a point to say in repository, hey, I do want to say something about this. Oh, sure. And yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I would like, I have, I have never asked this before, but uh, when, when, Mach, and by the way, thank you, Mach, uh, when March does clip this and put this into its own little thing, I would ask that we spread this around as much as possible, especially into uh, towards dev, because sure. this is something that I want dev to hear. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Dev, where's the, Dev. where's the trans blocker video? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it's not that. Yeah. So I don't know if you remember this, uh, yeah. Uzlu, but about a year, it was about a year or so ago. There are people in chat that will remember it much better than I will. Um, where consistently there was a thing that whenever the Troon shit started, they started talking about it. Uh, excuse me, locomotive stuff. I, uh, uh, sorry, I sorry, watch. sorry. <laughs> When, when, when they started talking about trans kids and when they started talking about stuff like that, every single time on their little tub cast, the, 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 uh, the audience started saying, you know who you should have on to talk about this. Bring Wes on. Have Wes on. Bring, out, bring in Wes to talk about this. Where is Wes? Where's the Wes conversation? Because Dev promised that he would have me on the tub cast to talk about this for months mm. and he kept promising it because he kept in he kept insisting insisting that lilith was right about this and then of course he went back and i'm sure he will do this again if and when he sees in response to this he will go oh no no i never said that i never did that yes you did Dev. yes you did you said that trans kids exist you agreed with lilith when he said that they should be on puberty blockers. You agreed with Lilith when he said that that trans kids should be treated as their as their accepted gender. You agreed with Lilith when he said all of these horrific things. When he said that they should be mutilated. When he said that they should be chemically castrated. When he said that they should be on puberty blockers because Lilith said that he, that that the kids could just get off puberty blockers and that they'd be fine. And I disagreed vehemently. And then Lilith kept kept sniping at me and sniping at me. You don't know. Where's the source? Where's your source? Where's your evidence? Where's your source? And my, and, and I kept saying, my source is common sense. It's common sense. If you inject hormones into a child you are going to mess up the hormonal balance of the child and that will cause problems in the future and if you are injecting estrogen or testosterone you are going to affect them sexually and when i say sexually i mean with their sexual organs with their growth puberty in general you do not get that time back you do not get the ability to, to just resume horm uh, 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 puberty whenever you want. You do not get the opportunity to go, oh, oh, <laughs> oopsies, redo when it comes to puberty. You do not get to do that. And Dev, you defended it. You defended it. You defended that man that you have on your, uh, on your tub cast each and every time. That mentally ill person who needs help. You defended him. And you need to ask yourself some hard questions as to why you defended him. You defended his, uh, his opinions and you defended you, 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 you promoted child mutilation on your stream, my dude. And I know what you're going to do. You're going to shake your head. You're going to laugh and you're going to go. I never did that actually, but, but, but you did, dude. You did. You know you did. You did, and your audience was pushing back at you, and your audience wanted me to join so that I could push back. Because I know what I'm talking about, Devin. You know I know what I'm talking about. That's why you never had me on. Because you're scared. You're scared because you know that I come with receipts. You know that I know what I'm talking about, and you know that I would annihilate that man that you want to have sex with. You know it. You ever wondered you know why it. I posit that one of the things Dev is now motivated by above the truth is I think Wes has hit it right there. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. And you know what? Yeah, I'm insulting you, Dev. We used to be friends. Yeah, I was friends with you before I was friends with Uzalu, my dude. And, and, and it's, it's just... Oh my God, I cannot, I, 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 it's just like, you know, you know, Dev and I'm, I'm going to keep speaking to Dev in the hopes that he will, he will hear this one day. Dev, 
you keep saying that you're still in the middle, that you're still in the middle, that it's everyone else who's moving, bro. It's not. Listen to me, my dude. We have known each other for years. You are sliding further and further left. And look, man, I'm not saying that I'm not moving further and further right. And I'll obviously left, right, heavy finger quotes, et cetera. But bro, you need to seriously take a step back and look at yourself. You seriously need to look at the stances that you're taking. And you need to also ask yourself why the trucker video hasn't come out yet. Like, I know it's a meme, but we know why. We know why. Yeah. Because you're, you're, you're going to have to take a stance that you're not comfortable with. And we know you're not comfortable with it because that ridiculous conspiracy theory video you put out. I don't know if you saw that, Uzlu. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. No, d- d- did you know that there was no conspiracy during COVID to, for a hostile takeover of Western governments? And, and do you know how we know that there wasn't a conspiracy to commit a hostile takeover and enact an authoritarian regime during COVID? You know no, how we know? No, Wes. Because it didn't happen. And that's not a great argument. <laughs> if, that, like, if that really is what he said, that's not a great argument. That's literally what he, he said. He said, mm. well, uh, there, uh, that didn't happen, did it? Yeah, there was a conspiracy theory during COVID to, to, to initiate a permanent, to make the COVID lockdowns permanent. But it didn't happen, did it? It's like, yeah, it's, it's because there was immense amounts of pushback. There was insane amounts of pushback. And there were threats of a violent takeover if you didn't. <laughs> you know, we were like, bro, we weren't too far away in, in a few states of, of making certain government buildings uh, very nice wooden decks. You know what I mean? With nice drop floors and an awning. Hold on a second. You know I have saying? to for this. Uh, there you go. It'd be nice if I could see it. Oh, so, you, is it the do not crime? It is the do not crime, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, look, hey, hey, Uzlu, Uzlu. In the Declaration of Independence, it says that it is the duty of every American citizen to overthrow a corrupt government that no longer, that no longer reflects the values put into said declaration. That is not illegal. That is a cornerstone of our governmental process. I never said not it was illegal. Never, never say, say it, ain't, it ain't a crime. No, I never said it was one. But, I mean, I, I would say it depends on the crime when it comes to do so, you know. Like, I, I saw this. I, I saw this video. I, mm. or excuse me. I saw this article. And I was like, like it, obviously, your reaction was the first one that I think all of us had. Which is a doy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but the thing is, the first thing that I remembered was was Lilith going, um, that, there's no evidence of that. Mm, 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 source. Source. If the Troons had just won their masks, none of this would have happened. <laughs> it's like she's in the room with us when both of you uh, say that. I just... I just can't like, like it, it's, it's like, bro. Cause the thing is, it's like, it's like, yeah, you know what? I kind of take that a little personally, you know, it's like, bro, we, we used to be friends and, and like, look, I was never on any of his streams or anything, but that's because I really kind of didn't want to be, you know, I, it wasn't until, it wasn't until the shit that happened to me during 2020 where I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should start talking. <laughs> <laughs> maybe i should start talking a little bit but um but it was like bro we knew each we know each other for years man we know each other for years and you are gonna you're, you're gonna side with potential bussy as the kids are calling it <laughs> over o- o- over a friend of yours that you've had for years really dude Bros before hoes does not uh, d- does not necessarily mean that the hoe is female. All right, I've had gay friends, and you know what? You know what? You know what? Every gay friend of mine has chosen. Okay, I was about to say bros, but but has chosen friendship over the male hoes. 
every homosexual I've ever known has been incestuous, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> no, no, like, like I, like, 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 it's like, man, come on, don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. Just what are you doing, man? And it's as, like, as Meat Bun says, bros before rot pockets. That, that is true. Uh, but but it's like, and 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 here's the thing. There's a there, there's a little ism in the psychological community, which is we are basically the accumulation of the personalities of the seven people who we are around the most. Now, obviously, the human factors in there, obviously, we have things and obviously that depends on the person. But for the average person. We are the accumulation of traits of the seven people that we are around the most. You take a step back and you look at the seven people that you're around the most and whether or not you like them. Now, again, that doesn't necessarily apply to much more strong willed people, but it does still affect. them. Mm. You may not even realize it does, but it do. It very much does. And, and you could be, you could say, oh, it doesn't affect. Me. Yes, it does. Every human being is a social creature. Every human being adapts to social cues of the people that we are around. And every person does pick up on subtle things that the people around us do. And you will notice that once it's pointed out. You ever notice that you laugh a little bit different? You laugh more like your friend if you spend more time around them, that you pick up on some like little movement habits. That you pick up on on like little isms that your friends do when you're around them more often, and they will do the same with you. They will do the same with you. You don't even realize it. That that's it's it it's that thing. I know that's got a name, a few but times I, yeah, for, for for me and others, of course, because we're human, and that's what we do. We yeah. we we mimic each other. We mimic and adapt things. That's that's why language evolves. Mm. And well, when I say it's language that evolves, you like it's likely that they're doing something right. So it's a decent proxy to decide what to mimic. Evolutionary oh, yeah. speaking, yeah. and and you'll you'll notice people do it with you, and you do it with people. You know, it's it's a it's a give and take. It's a very healthy give and take that humans do. And the thing is, is when you surround yourself with leftist trannies because you want to keep having sex with them, you tend to pick up leftist tranny takes. Mm -hmm. Dev, buddy. Please. <laughs> you tend to swallow what they're pumping out. Oh, I bet, no. De I bet Dev wishes he was as well. Yeah. Chat, yeah, the, most, no, I, the most embarrassing part of all this for Dev is that he's destroyed his public reputation on the basis of chasing in part, but he hasn't got any. Look, man, I'm not, I don't want to pry into a social life. I don't know. I don't want to know about a social life. We don't know. True. We don't know. We don't know for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 you know, like that's, but that that's none of my business. It's none of your business. It's none of anyone's business. I mean, like, but but you know, the only thing I could I'll say is you know, you might want to step away from the porn. Might want to step away from 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 the more degenerate parts of your life. And when I say degenerate, I don't mean like. Hugo Boss leather jacket wearing you you're you you're you have to you st spend six months in a hand, in a wheelchair therefore you're a degenerate type of degenerate but like yeah true deviant behavior like I don't know lusting after men who mimic women uh, f f uh, women's By secondary characters look and habits yeah, exactly yeah like look I mean, man. Like the, one of the most consistent things in all the Discord servers Wes has hosted is the porn channels. What? Oh, you mean Dev? Did I did I say Wes? You said Wes. At least I think you did. I'm I am insanely tired, so I may have misheard it. Did he say Wes, guys? The fact that two people in chat laughed, <laughs> I think I may have that up a little bit. Yes. <laughs> 